Good morning, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Logan Hag. And I'm Charlotte Claney. Today is Tuesday, August 27th. Happy birthday today to Layla Breeden and Scout Sherman. Welcome to RT Today. In news, in southwestern Pakistan, several gunmen were killed and about 31 people, including four police officers in two separate attacks on Monday. Officials said it was, quote, one of the worst, deadliest days of violence in the area, end quote. The attackers ended up burning 10 vehicles before escaping. In entertainment, Mariah Carey shares that her mother and sister both tragically died this past weekend. Carey says, quote, I am heartbroken to have lost my mother and sadly in a tragic turn of events, my sister as well. In turn, in her 2020 biography memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, she explains how much of an influence her mother and sister had on her music her, and her life. The details of their death has not been revealed. In sports, Austin Dilton loses his final appeal with NASCAR after causing a crash at Richmond Raceway, meaning he must win the regular season finale. If he doesn't, he won't be able to participate in the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. That's a wrap. Let's go to Charlotte with today's announcement. Thanks, Logan. Leo Club is a youth organization affiliated with Lions Clubs International that encourages young people to develop leadership skills, serve their communities, and make a positive impact. Leo Clubs organize a variety of service projects, fundraisers, and leadership development activities in areas such as healthcare, elders, children, people with disabilities, literacy and education, and self-development. If you're interested in joining a club with activities and projects that develop and practice leadership, organization, social skills, and helping others, then Leo Club is just for you. See Ms. Crossway in room 420 or scan the QR code in the bulletin board outside the Media Center to sign up. Attention seniors and juniors, many colleges have scheduled visits to Middletown, including Penn State, UMBC, the University of Maryland, and the University of Tennessee. To meet with these and other colleges, please sign up in your Naviance account or see Ms. Bertolitis in counseling. In sports, the golf team faced Catoctin, with Catoctin shooting a 179 and Middletown shooting a 168. Thomas Witt and Dylan Ledbetter were both the lowest, finishing with a 41. Tonight, the girls' volleyball team has a scrimmage against South Hagerstown at South Hagerstown. JV is at 4 and varsity will follow. The boys' soccer team plays South Carroll at home, JV at 5.30 and varsity at 7. Roll Knights. Now let's go to Reagan with a look at today's weather. Thanks, Charlotte. I'm in the trees, but I'm not in the breeze. It is currently 72 degrees out with highs in the low 90s starting this afternoon. Sunny conditions are expected throughout the day and temperatures will drop throughout the week as we head into September. That's it for weather. I'm Reagan Van Pelt. Back to you folks in the studio. Thanks for watching. You can find more content on MHSRoundtable.com or you can download our app, Student News Source, for access to our articles, videos, and podcasts. I'm Logan Hag. And I'm Charlotte Claney. This was RT Today, plus this by Kat Whiskey. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be asking people what they did over the summer. Okay, who am I here with? Sophie Phelan. And what was the highlight of your summer? Whenever I drove into a mailbox. Oh. Okay, okay who am I here with? Vera. And Skylar. Okay, and what was the highlight of your summer, guys? Um, hanging out with my gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic best friend, Ring of Vimpelt. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. And, um. And, um, what was the highlight of your summer? Um, probably hanging out with my friends Diane and Izzy. Okay, cool. Okay. Who am I here with? Liz. And what was the highlight of your summer? I got a tattoo. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we have, might have to redo that.